In this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Microsoft Expression Web. Now, we have three pages and a photo. That's all we have right now. If I double click this, this resume page, it takes me to my resume page. I can click on this link, it takes me home. Click on this link, it takes me to my interests area, back to resume. I can also click on Google if I want. Now, most websites aren't this simplistic. They don't have just three pages and one photo. Typically, they have multiple, multiple pages and photos and subdirectories and things like that. So we're going to actually create some subdirectories here. Right now, we're in the root directory, my website folder. I'm going to create three new folders, one for resume, one for interests, and one for images. Let me do that right now. And then I'm going to stick those respective files in their folders. And I'm going to leave the index.html page in the root directory because when a browser comes to my website, it's going to be looking for an index.html or similar file in the root directory. Now, let's open Expression Web. When you open Expression Web, you might not see what I'm seeing. Let me get it to the point where it'll be what you would see. You'd see something more like this, maybe with a new HTML page currently loaded. Go ahead and close that HTML page. You won't need that. And let's go load the site. Go to Site, Open Site. Go browse to your root directory. For me, it's in my Dropbox folder, and it's called My Website. That is my root directory. Open and open. And you'll see on the left, we have those three folders and the index page. Now, if we go to OpenResume.html, just double click it, you'll see either in Design View, just how it looks in the browser, or you'll see split view, which is with code and design, or just code. I like to stay in split view for now. Notice that the, broke, uh, the photo is broken. It doesn't work anymore. And the reason for that is because we moved it to a different folder. We also moved the resume page to a different folder. So now we have to change this reference to the image to be more accurate to where it really is. So the easiest way to do this is to simply delete the quotes and the equal sign, replace those with an equal sign, and double click this pick URL. Go find the image. It's in my images folder, photo. Notice it puts in a relative reference for me. It's up one folder from a resume page, and then it's down in the images folder, and there's the photo. These links will also be broken, or well, at least the index and interest links. So let's go fix those. All right, now we have relative references to each of those. For the index, it's just up one folder in the root directory. For interests, it's up one folder, so we're now in the root directory. Then we go down into interests folder and find the interests file. Some cool things about Expression Web. First of all, it color codes things. That's very nice. It also auto completes things for me. Let's say I wanted to add another link. I could just do an open element, and it lists all the links, all the possible links I could do. Let me do A. There's A equals or not equals, space, and here are all the attributes of A. One of them is href. So let me hit enter. Now I can either pick a URL or just start typing. How about I do http colon slash slash www.byu.edu. And then I can give it some language. There we go. So it auto-completes things for you, which is very nice. Also, you can change things up in the code, and then when you click down here in the preview, design area, you'll see that it changes. The link to the photo is fixed, so that works now, and now we have a BYU link right here. I can also just type in here. Let's say I want to start a new area, a new paragraph. Call this contact info. And then I'm going to hold shift and hit enter, and that's going to do a BR for me. Notice I held shift, hit enter, and it created a BR. So I'm still inside the same paragraph. If I just hit enter, it creates a whole new paragraph for me. Let me stick my email in here, james.gaskin at byu.edu, hit enter. It automatically knows that's an email address, so it puts the href to mail to my email address. Let's do some lists. How about education? Education, there we go. And let's make that an ordered list, starting with one. Notice up here in the code, it makes OL for ordered list, and then it adds a line item for education. Let me hit Enter, tab that in. 
and changes to an unordered list, just bullet points. Again, notice up here it changed it to a UL, unordered list, with a new list item. Let's say BYU 2008, CWRU 2012, Harvard 2015. Ha! Tab that back. I'm back in the ordered list, number two. Let's do some experience. Tab that back in, change it to an unordered list. And let's say I've been a consultant, an inventor, and the king of the world. And you can do a bunch of these. Anyway, notice how it just creates all this code beautifully for you up in the HTML area, and it tabs it in and formats it nicely. Also, in Expression Web, it makes sure your HTML5 compliant. Let's say I forgot to close the body. You'll see down here I have some errors popping up. If I click on it, it says go to error. And here's the error. I'm closing the HTML before I'm closing the body. That's a problem. Here we go. It says here, in HTML5, the tag body cannot contain a tag body. Well, what that really means is I didn't close it. So I can close it, and it's all better, and this turns green, so it means I'm HTML5 compliant. Well, that's some cool stuff about Expression Web. I'm going to show you styles in the next video.